हेलो दोस्तों आज मैं आपके लिया एर के ना ए पोकेमोन वीडियो लेकर आया हूँ जो क्या ये आपके प्यार को भी हिंदी आती है कम मत समझना Hola chicos, bienvenidos a otro video de mi canal. Vamos a hablar un poquito español porque yo soy tu papito. There's no way I just said that. Oh my god. Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Raf, and with the announcement of the new Generation 9 Pokemon games, there's a lot of hype surrounding them. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are the next generation embracing the world of Pokemon. Seeing as a new generation has been made known, this begins to bring multiple questions to the table regarding the Pokemon anime, especially in relation to Ash's next adventure. For me personally, I reckon Ash is definitely going to go to the new region, and if you want to learn the full insight about this, then be sure to check out the Generation 9 anime series of videos that I've made. Should Ash continue his journey to the new region, then I'm sure we'll be seeing our 10 year old hero catch a bunch of wonderful Pokemon monsters. But what about the starter Pokemon? Today myself and the bro Pokemon Kuroji are going to theorise on which new Generation 9 starter Pokemon that Ash may catch in the new Generation 9 Pokemon Scarlet and Violet anime. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show support, and I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, let's begin. Let's start off by looking at the previous anime seasons alongside the starter Pokemon Ash obtained in those series. Firstly, we have Kanto. Ash's starter Pokemon was Pikachu, and he obtained all three of the original starter Pokemon from this region, these being Bulbasaur, Charmander, which later evolved into Charizard, and Squirtle. In Johto, Ash caught Chikorita, which later evolved into a Bayleaf, Cyndaquil, which also returned in Diamond and Pearl and then evolved into Golava, and Totodile. Moving on to Hoenn, the only starter Pokemon Ash caught was Trico, and this fully evolved into a Sceptile. For Sinnoh, Ash caught Turtwig, which later on evolved all the way into Torterra, and he also obtained Chinchar, later on elevating it into their powerful Infernape. During the Yanova series, Ash obtained all three of the starter Pokemon from this region, being Snivy, Tepig, which later on evolved into a Big Knight, and Oshawa. In the Kalos Saga, Ash only caught a Froki, which then evolved into Gorga. For Alola, Ash caught Rowlet, and a Litten, that then evolved into Incineroar. This then brings us up to Pokemon Journeys, to where Ash didn't catch a single one of the Galar starters. Hello Pokemon Champions, I am Pokemon Gruzi, and today I am here to discuss Satoshi Pokemon team in Generation 9. Looking at this list, Satoshi is a trainer that owns 16 starter Pokemon. If we analyze the trends of pattern, we notice how Satoshi tends to usually own at least one starter Pokemon from each region, not including Journeys. There are also pattern to show that he is capable of in fact owning all three of the starter Pokemon from the said region. In term of typing, A zone, 1 electric starter, 6 grass starter, 5 fire starter and 4 water type. From this standing point, A seems to own more grass type starter Pokemon compared to the other typings. But we can't really hold that against him as in a certain series, he's only obtained one starter that makes up for that region. It's just a nice detail to learn about which starter Pokemon he owns the most in the specific Pokemon typing. So which starter Pokemon will Ash obtain in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet anime? Well, let's look at the three cues that represent this region. First up is Brigatito, a pure grass type Pokemon that is based off a cat with its name being a combination of Sprig, a small stem of leaves, and Gatito, which is Spanish for kitten. See? I told you I was going to speak Spanish in my videos. Next up is Fuecoco. This Pokemon is a pure fire type based off a of baby Cocorodilla, which could also have some relation to dinosaurs. Its design also resembles an apple or potentially a chili pepper. Fuecoco's name comes from a combination of Fuego, no, not that one, and Crocodilo, which is Spanish for crocodile. Finally, we have Quaxly, a pure water type Pokemon based on a potential young crested duck. Quaxly's name could be based off a combination of Quack, the effective sound ducks make, and or possibly Awa, which means water in Spanish. Or it could even be the word Wax, including the word Duckling. With the background of these Pokemon outlined, let's now dive into the three theories as to which one of these Generation 9 styles of Pokemon Ash could own in the Scarlet and Violet anime. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. This is just pure speculation. The first theory is that Ash will only obtain one of these starter Pokemon. For the concept of these games, we know that there will be a male and female character to correspond just like the existing games. I reckon that Ash will obtain one of these Pokemon, and depending on if both player characters get revealed as rivals or companions, then they could obtain one of the other. I also think that maybe Nimona, 
the rival in the games, could also maybe own one of these three, but that's not confirmed of course, especially seeing from the dialogue of the game she states that either one of the three Pokemon could belong to the player. In terms of which starter, I reckon should Ash only have one of them, then it would be Fue Coco. Existing aces like Charizard and Inferno have been heavily focused on in relation to the fire typing, and this also included Incineroar during its previously evolutionary stages. But for this new anime series, I reckon Fue Coco could be his next starter Pokemon, and potentially his next ace on his team. Ash could essentially own one of the other starters to coincide with this theory, but then this transitions into theory 2. This being that Satoshi will own all three of the starter Pokemon from what we have seen in previous anime seasons. It's been mad that evident that Satoshi is perfectly capable of owning all three of the starter Pokemon from the region. I think this will be a great way to kickstart the new anime series with each Pokemon receiving focus and dedicated episode to complement their development stages. We may even see Satoshi evolve all three of these starter Pokemon making the first series that Satoshi own all three of the starters in their final evolutions. With the anticipation surrounding the new games that seems to be lot of promising element that could relate to making an outstanding anime series. Satoshi owning all three of these starters could make out for really good narrative in the series and the way they could all be shown with their unique personalities and traits might be something that will not only entice fans even more but also create some really engaging and wonderfully written episodes. The final theory is that Ash won't attain any of the new starter Pokemon. I really hope this isn't the case though. From what happened with Journeys, many viewers were disappointed at the fact that the silly boy didn't have a starter on his team. It may have broken a new trivia trend, but it felt very off for the fact that we never saw Ash bond with a specific Gala starter that he could have called his own. Seeing as this has happened, it's now a possibility that could follow in the Scarlet and Violet anime. Maybe Ash will obtain one of the newer Pokemon instead that will correspond to being his next days. Like I said, I really hope this possibility doesn't come true, because all three of the starters are absolutely adorable and they could really be great partners for Ash. But still, we can't cement the outcome just yet. It's only a matter of time before the new Generation 9 anime series gets announced, and I can't wait to talk about it. Hopefully we'll be getting an indication as to whether or not if Ash will obtain one or all three of the Generation 9 star Pokemon. Huge thank you to the bro Pokemon Kuroji for joining me on today's video. Be sure to check out the video we've done on his channel to gain a better insight about the starter Pokemon available, especially for which one could join Ash. Also huge shout out to my friend Goku for designing the thumbnail for this video. Be sure to follow him on his Twitter account to see more of his amazing art pieces surrounding the Pokemon anime. So, which starter Pokemon will Ash get? Will he get one, or three, or none of them? Only time will tell. But why not let me know which starter Pokemon you think Ash will get in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter, and join the Team Pokecraft Discord server, to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.